The purpose of this podcast is just a rant about the stuff that we like. So, if that doesn't sound like your cup of tea, this show probably isn't for you. This podcast is recorded on Gadigal and Bidjigal land, and also contains a fair amount of explicit language. We are Australian, after all. If I let you in on this, you've got to promise to keep it on the down low. The less people know about this, the better. Call it lazy, I just create what is in my mind I use the same breaks in my beats sometimes Wanna decorate my office so I bought some fake lavenders And speakers but my kaiju on the highway to Los Angeles Never try to hide you from my life if you can handle it You know I try to find you in the dark Which is the candlestick, the fouls of my heart Always in case of metal shackles When I look into your eyes, you're like Wonderland of Alice Shit, if we can avoid incendiary incidents in real life Then we never have to do anything ever again work in the real world hello everyone hi guys this is the one year anniversary oh my of god stuff we're excited about it's been a year a guys. podcast about stuff we're excited about Can you my believe name's it? finley i'm cloud and it's it's the one year we made it we've been talking about this for so and long we made it you can believe it it's a sunday once again it's actually no that would have been much more sense if i said it's a friday once again um that's a reference to David Lynch's weather report that he oh. did on his YouTube channel for a while. <laughs> I don't, I don't know that. Where every Friday, every Friday, he went, he went. Hello, everyone! If you can believe it, it's a Friday once again. <laughs> Which always tickled me. I, I like that guy. He's funny. There's so um, many um, Twitter yeah. accounts that just be like, it's Friday again, or it's Sunday again, of like a character. Like there's one from Supernatural yeah. where, where Sam just goes, it's Wednesday, and they post it every Wednesday. I used to do that on my Instagram. You did, yeah. I used to, I used to post the, the Feliz Jueves video every Thursday, mm -hmm. and it annoyed the shit out of everyone who followed me. Yep, it did. Um, but now you don't, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I stopped that. I Yeah. It's been a year. Wow. It's been a year, Daddy. <laughs> what? I really, really miss you. <laughs> I don't know this. Why would you say that? What the fuck? Um, I haven't thought about that audio in so long. I don't even know what that's a reference to. I'm not gonna. You ask. don't. You don't remember that? No. Wow. Wow. Um, it was that like it was one of like the Quandale Dingle TikTok audios oh. from way back in the day. Oh right! Where it's yeah. like it. It's been a year, Daddy. I really, really miss you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> I cannot believe it's been a year. It does not feel like it's been a year. Um, this is this is it's been a pretty good first year, I guess. It, it, yeah, in not bad. Relative terms, could be worse. We could have no in relative listeners. terms. We have like three. Three. Maybe. Three consistently, maybe. Yes. How many followers do we have on, like, everything? I think we should check that. I think we have about 50 on Instagram. Let's and have a look. virtually none on, like, Twitter. On and anywhere else. On a, a, not not Twitter, Blue Sky. Mm. Also, yeah, I don't know whether I mentioned it on the podcast, but we we're have not a Blue Sky using now. the Twitter anymore. Yeah. It, we're on Blue Sky. I need to set up a custom domain. I need to buy a domain for that. I need to buy us uh, a website. Yeah, right. Um, um, hold on. Because so on Blue Sky, you can have a custom domain as your username. We have 45 um, followers which is pretty on cool. the um, Instagram. Fun fun 45. And let's have a look on the TikTok. I don't think we have any... We've got like... On TikTok? I, I don't remember, actually. We have... Uh, it's like 10. 20 or something. 10. Oh. <laughs> That's that's half as many as I thought. <laughs> we have ten well, followers and two hundred and thirty-five likes out of all thirty. All of our videos. Five, six episodes. That's okay. Well, no, it's not. It's not thirty. So I, I missed a couple. Sometimes I I either just don't do a preview or, or I forget to post oh, it on yeah. TikTok. But oh well. Um, yeah. I think it's anyway. Been it's it's this is our breakout year. This is us getting a, a foothold of everything. This is us, um, you know, getting our claws getting into our the formula material. down. Yeah, getting it down, getting consistency down. We've been doing our best. Again, we both mm. are either working as or you students. can see. 
like, we we missed fifteen weeks out of out of the past year. Did we? Oh right, because yeah, we, yeah. Well, again, this is episode few, thirty-seven. Yeah, first few weeks we did it every. Oh yeah, two it was weeks. fortnightly. I forgot about so. that. Yeah, speaking of fortnightly, you did one last week. Let's keep I it. I did one last year. Yeah. Let's keep but it year related. It's important. It's important. It's oh. important. It's important. Very quick. I'll talk about it a bit later. Make it snappy. Later. Later. Okay. We do have an put hour. A, so put a pin in. Oh, we do have an hour. Put a pin in that. Just, just. Put a pin in it. Like, like that guy from Bolt. Put a pin in it. Have you not seen Bolt? The movie about the That's dog who thinks film. he's like a superhero. Yeah. I have, but I don't remember the, that. The, the main character's agent, or not the main character, but the main human character, her agent, whenever whenever she starts, like, complaining to him about something, he's always just like, let's put a pin in it. Oh. And he's fucking insufferable. Okay. I hate that guy. <laughs> okay. Um, I need to watch that film again. That's a good film. I remember <laughs> good watching flick. that so much when I was younger, yeah. Uh, good flick. What, what do we have? We mentioned... Um, outside of recording that we should talk about some things that have happened over the year um things that have happened over the year i've been working my ass off i went to america i i they have hated my job <laughs> that's my year summed uh, up my my year i started studying I, I started my tertiary education this year um acting school's going good um oh uh writing i i mentioned on the very first episode i believe that i had a book i was writing and that i would do a paragraph or like a page every day that didn't happen mm. um i have made progress i'm i'm like halfway through the like this is the first draft right i'm halfway through like chapter two which is more than i was at the beginning how many of the chapters year. i don't know i i, I have you don't know you I never have, know I've, I've planned it out but i have no idea how many chapters it's gonna be um, like I've got a good mm. concept of the story, and I know what the plot is going to be and like what the end is, but it's just actually sitting down and writing. Funny enough, the only time I've actually written it is when I like go to a library and sit down and do that to make it look like I'm being productive, <laughs> <laughs> to make it look like I'm sitting there going like like furiously typing, when it's really just kind of well, like, yeah. Speaking of uh, just like kind of like speaking type of a writing, and then yeah, yeah. Uh, we, over the year, we had a few, I would say several even, uh, pre-production meetings about, uh, the series that I'm doing with 2K Doppler. Oh. I mean, it's not just me. It's a, it's a pretty, it's a big team. We're all, we're all working hard on it. Um, I, I attended one of those production meetings from my Airbnb in Berkeley, California. <laughs> um, which, I mean, like... Writing collaboratively like that in a space, essentially sort of doing not necessarily a writer's room, but like doing brainstorming uh, group meetings like that is so much fun. Mm. It's just so much fun because you can just bounce off other people. People can add to your ideas. You can just kind of throw out whatever. And it's so validating when, like, you throw something out and you think, like, you you, you preface it by saying, like, yeah, maybe not exactly this, but something like this. And then someone says, no, I think exactly that. I think mm. we can just go with that. That's good. Um, but, yeah, that, yeah, uh, that project is coming along swimmingly. Yay. I'm I'm really excited for that. Um, I was, I've been doing voice acting for uh for doppler's videos on instagram i was in i had one line in the uh in the halloween special that mm. they just posted i played a, a little hamster <laughs> <laughs> which is pretty good um but yeah that's i mean that has actually been sort of like the big thing from this year other than just me not really enjoying my job and t- <laughs> and and coming home and and editing the podcast yeah. just kind of week in week out but like that yeah that's good that's yeah. what's been happening um um yeah oh uh so i had a month in uruguay at the beginning of the year um yes that's one of the months off that we had this year all of all of january i was away and i remember when i got back my mom actually got me a new bookshelf 
And so I think I've just kind of spent this entire reading. I have read, yeah, like I've spent this entire year filling up my bookshelf and I'm so glad. My Goodreads, I've read almost, I'm on my 10th book this year. I love Goodreads because it feels like... Man, I'm way, I'm way ahead of you then. Yeah, well then... I might, I might be cheating. You, you are cheating. Manga <laughs> is not the same as a novel. I'm reading like novels and stuff, but reading is one thing that I've like picked up this year, and I'm so, so glad I have, because oh, when I was younger, I could go through a million books a day. Like I was reading like it was the mm. newest thing around. Like, and 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 then you know I got a phone and all that stuff, and then I kind of stopped, and now I'm picking it up again. I have like no sh- no space on my bookshelf. I've got to like. I'm, I know I have to, like, get rid oh, of yeah. old books, but I have no space anymore what, to the fact where I'm just, you know, stacking them on top or just stacking them in front and, like, like mm. shoving them in and closing the door so that it doesn't fall <laughs> out, basically. Um, but that's definitely one I'm at 39 books. That doesn't count, Finley. They <laughs> don't... Ugh. I'm at 9 of 20. Some of those were real books. Come on. Well, yeah, mine Hang have on. all been real books, so... So what do we have? Mine is, like, th- the entirety of Dungeon Meshi, the entirety of Nichijou, the three Max Brooks Minecraft books, which I think I mentioned, uh, a few Star Wars books, and that's it. Oh. <laughs> Not very highbrow literature. Uh, I have read Dead Things and Broken Souls by Stephen Blackmore, um, one of the supernatural books, Bone Key, Kings of the Wild by Nicholas Ames, The Outsiders, Brokeback Mountain, Picture of Dorian Gray, another um, supernatural book, and The Alchemist by Paul Paulo Coelho. And now I'm reading Good Omens. I'm almost done. I am. Mm. I, I, am. I can see your progress. How, where am I? I'm 88 percent done. So I've got like, like just the very end of it. Left. Page 434 out of 491. Oh, wow. Yeah, there you go. I could probably finish it, like, today or tomorrow. I'm going to see if I can do that. But that's definitely one hobby Mm. that I've, like, picked up and actually kind of stuck with over the year. And I'm sure that next year I will get more than 10. Like, that was 10 out of... I put my Mm. gold as 20. A bit, you know, I was a bit... uh, Pushing a bit, but... Overestimated your ability. Yeah, but I think it's still pretty good. Like, compared to years before that, I was reading, like, one book. Now, like, I've gone through, like, whole, like, you know... I guess novels, yeah. Mm. But the only problem, I broke. And so many of these books have been thrifted secondhand, or I get them off like the street libraries because buying mm. books new, oh my god, they're expensive. Tell me so about expensive. it. I I bought, I bought three full series of manga. Actually, four, four full series of manga this year. I got Azumanga Daioh. I got Dungeon Meshi. I got City, and I got Nichijo. It's so expensive. So it's and, so and, much money. And and because we're in Australia, I feel like it costs a lot more than like anywhere else. I don't know if that's like an actual yeah. fact or it just feels like that, but I feel like books here are like really expensive. So like Man. yeah. I'm so thankful for people that don't want their books anymore and they put them in street libraries. I will take them. I take those. I just, ah, they're mine. I love those. I just have to remember mm. to put them back. Like, put other ones back, because you take one, you leave one. So I've, I've got a bunch of books that I've got to leave in, in some of those around the city. So, now that we have looked back a bit, I would like to look forward. Of course. We have another, and specifically, another delightful year ahead of us. Specifically, I would like to talk about the Marvel Studios slate. There's some new, there's some new dates in here. New dates, as in like that we didn't know before. They've moved things around, or they've added dates. They've, well, not not new projects, but just new dates for, for projects that ah, they've had announced. Okay. Some some will surprise you. Yeah. Yes. First up. Yeah. On January 29th. It's two months away. Three months away. Oh, jo- oh my god. Your friendly neighborhood Spider Man. Oh yeah, the. Three months away. I, d- I didn't expect that to be coming out until, like, at least mid-2025. True. That's so soon. That's, yeah. Oh. I'm searching. It might actually be four. My, I don't know whether date. my maths is that sound on that. It might yeah, be four. Yeah, there's like, ooh. Um, 
That's really cool. Then next up we have Captain America Brave New World, February 14th. That's not bad. Also pretty soon. Mm. That's two weeks after. After. That, that'll, that'll come out during the airing of, of uh, That's, wow. Spider-Man. Then we have Daredevil Born Again, March 4th. I'm going to like disappear like a hermit for the entire time that comes out because I'm just going to... Oh my! And there's it is nine the, episodes. The 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 nine nine. Nine episodes. I thought it was gonna be more. Oh. Nine. Well, nine like forty five minute episodes. I okay, think. that's 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 better. Um, but yeah. was there a, was there a trailer that or like something that recently came out? Oh yeah yeah. Um, I have to find that for you and, and send that I to you. I think I saw after you. Fact, you showed but... me it, didn't you? Yeah yeah. Yeah 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 yeah. Okay. Um, then next up we have Thunderbolts to Asterisk. Yeah. I'm also say, really excited for you that. You gotta call it Thunderbolts to Asterisk. You have to put the Asterisk. Because that's the real title of the film. Yeah. May 2nd. Okay. Then we have Fantastic Four First Steps. Oh, yeah. July 25th. So, what? They're just going. And then we have a new announcement. Oh. This is, a, this is something that we've never heard of before. Completely this new. This is completely new. Yeah. Marvel Animation's Eyes of Wakanda. What? It's a four-episode miniseries coming out on August 6th. Okay. Oh. Then we have Ironheart. Ironheart, On yeah. September 3rd. Okay. That feels like it's been in development hell for, for a very ever. long time. Um, I'm, ex- I, I, I'm pretty excited for that one, though, because it's got um, Sasha Baron Cohen in it. Mm, yes. Playing Mephisto. Uh, then we have Marvel Zombies, uh, animated miniseries coming out in October oh, to coincide with Halloween. That's good. And then we have Wonder Man. What? Live action 10 episode series. Who? Coming out in December. What? I don't know about Wonder this. Wonder Man. What? How do you spell it? W- do, you not, do you not know who Wonder Man is? No. Okay, uh, Wonder Man, Simon Williams, is a character appearing in American comic books published by Marvel Comics. Um, he is, uh, an actor. I don't remember his actual, like, power set. Simon Uh, Williams is the son of rich industrialist Sanford Williams, owner of Williams Innovations. Simon inherits the munitions factory after his father's death, but the company profits fall due to its biggest competitor, Tony Stark, and his company, Stark Industries. Uh, This is all his, like, uh, his comics backstory. Um, I have not heard (laughs) of this this character at all. So he he basically is... uh, uh, super soldier. Okay. Um, he apparently acquired his his powers from uh Baron Zemo. Okay. Which could still happen in the MCU because because Zemo's he's still around alive. Like he's and he has super soldier serum. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, <gasps> oh yeah. Forgot about that. Uh, here's here's a cool line from his Wikipedia page: The Grim Reaper steals Simon's body at one point. Oh, great. <laughs> Um, Wonder Man remains in suspended animation for years, and it is during this point that Ultron, uh, steals the brain patterns recorded by the Avengers for use as a template for the Synthesoid Vision. So technically, in the comics, Vision has a copy of Wonder Man's brain. Oh, that's really weird. Am I- oh. Which is- it is a bit odd. Um, I don't know why, uh... Yeah. Uh, it is later revealed that the Vision is built from the original Human Torch, an android created by Phineas Horton. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Marvel comics are very confusing. Yeah, there's a lot going on. But yeah, um, that's, that's a pretty good lineup for the next year, I think. Powers like, and abilities uh, gained his superhuman powers due to chemical and radiation treatments from with ionic energy by Baron Zemo, giving him superhuman strength, speed, stamina, durability, agility, and reflexes. Um, pretty much all the rest that I know about him is that he's an actor. Oh. And I think that is... I don't know whether that's the case for all of the incarnations of him, but that is what they're going with in the MCU. Okay. And he's being played by... By? Uh... 
Yahya Abdul Mateen the second who I actually don't know what else he's been in let's see I don't know this guy he was in Baywatch he was yeah. in The Greatest Showman he was in Aquaman he was in Us uh, Matrix Resurrections oh. um uh, yeah you, okay I okay. was in The Handmaid's Tale as well okay, okay. and Black Mirror this oh is... and Watchmen oh well, I don't know. This, this, I'm looking forward to this. And this, this looks like it's a pretty cool series. Yeah, yeah. We have known about that for a while because uh, I think that casting got announced like a couple of years ago. But... I didn't know anything about yeah. this, so this is the first time hearing of that it. That is Marvel Slate. There That's you go. Marvel Slate for the next year. Before we move on, I do have, I, I do want to talk about a different slate, much shorter. Okay. Uh, this will, this will take significantly less time. Um, here we go. It is. I want to talk about the slate for uh, Avatar Studios. Avatar Studios. The studio that is in charge of like Avatar: The Last Airbender and stuff like that. Oh, oh what's coming out of them? So, in summer 2025. Yes, that's. Oh, wait, it's summer. Who's in summer? the northern hemisphere? So, middle of the year. Yeah, we have season two of the Avatar live action series, which. The first series, the first season was not good. I didn't see it. Let's be honest. So I it wasn't. Know. It wasn't good. The the writing and the dialogue was really dodgy. Um, they have complete. Netflix has completely fired the writing team. Oh wow! Okay. It has a completely new writing team. Okay. So it might be good. Maybe. Hopefully. We'll see. Uh, then in October, we have uh the adults team Avatar. <gasps> See, uh, not series, sort of. Uh, it's an animated film. Yes. I think. Oh, yeah. oh, the oh, I, I, yes. Oh my god, I completely forgot about that. I can't believe it's actually happening. That's great. And then starting in uh, winter, our summer, twenty twenty five, the next Avatar series. The ne- oh, following oh, the next Avatar. Oh after, my god. After Korra. How did I completely forget that? That's like, oh my god. I feel like a. Do we have to? Do we have to? Do we have to keep going? <laughs> Can't no, we... that's it. Uh, no, as in, like, do they have to make another one? Like, I feel like I'm, like, happy with what we have. And I don't know if I'm... I'm, like, mixed... Because, like, that hey, means... if it's good... Uh, yeah. If it's good, we get not? more. Oh, I really enjoyed Korra. I did, but now... I love Korra. No, Korra's dead. <laughs> that's why you're upset because Cora's what? dead what? <laughs> I don't know it's fine let's it yay new series well if you subscribe to the if you subscribe to the theory that the next avatar looks like the previous avatar's lover then they're gonna look like a sami yeah will so, um, presumably be male and and look a bit like a sami <gasps> Which what, could be interesting. What's the next incarnation? Um, what's the... Earth. Earth, yes. Yes, right. That'll be really interesting then. Because Asami yeah. is Fire Nation, isn't she? Well, yeah, the previous Earth avatar was Kiyoshi, who was female. So then presumably... It's, yeah. That's he's going to be male. Yeah, that's how it works. Male, female. Yeah. Um, Air, water, earth, like, fire. That's the order? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, that's that's real interesting. I, I mean, I can, yeah, I, 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 com- I completely forgot about that. Yeah, re- looking forward to that then. Yeah. Yeah, kind of slips under your under your radar yeah. when they don't really <laughs> announce stuff for a while. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is that is our year in those two media franchises coming up. Um, Star Wars doesn't really have anything other than the Mandalorian and Grogu and movie, no, they have, which I think is coming out next year. Well, not next year, but the most, the next thing is, isn't it Skeleton Crew? I saw something about that recently. I don't know much about that. Yeah, it's coming that. out in December. Yeah. I've, I, I... It's coming out next month. If I'm honest, I haven't been keeping up with a lot of, like, franchises that are coming out, like, recently. So I've I'm I'm okay. behind on a lot of Marvel. I'm behind on a lot of Star Wars stuff. I've been watching a lot of like older series and anime. So I'm kind of behind on everything. Mm. Uh, Mandalorian and Grogu, which is the the Mandalorian film, 
uh, is in May 2026. So I not for a, not for a while. I didn't even know this was a thing. I've damn. You didn't? No, I hmm. I haven't heard well, about I'll be this. Damned. There you go. That's okay. That's pretty cool. What else? What are you excited for for the next year? To what am I excited for for the next year? To tie um, it, tie it back to the title of the podcast. Oh, what am I excited for? I gotta say it next next season of my hero just because I want to know how it like see how it ends. That's I think it's coming out next year. Last season. Um, I'm also mm. oh, on so. My now I have I'm putting it up there. My now favorite anime gangster and my favorite manga gangster. Recently, we got an update from the mangako uh, Kosuke on Twitter saying that there might be a new manga coming out or like something. A new series or no, or like a new, a new volume. New volume. I'll have to find it. But I'm like, if huh. that is the case, I'm so grateful that I like rejoined the fandom just as she's like putting new stuff out. <laughs> okay. Yeah. She says, she says an update confirming that a new manga volume will release eventually. But that's eventually. like confirmation that it's not ended, which is amazing news. That is, yeah. Because I was that is scared. very good news. That's, that's better than that's better than like a cliffhanger. Because I'm fairly certain. Yeah. I'm not sure if she has lupus, but she is terminally ill. Um, not terminally, chronically ill. Not terminally. Chronically ill. Not, not <laughs> that terminal. is the difference. I believe she's chronically ill. I'm not sure what it is. Um, I heard somewhere someone saying it was lupus, but that does mean that she does have difficulty um, drawing. So they are um, chronically ill and they're having a hard time, um, you know, continuing to draw because of their illness but this is so good mm. that we have an actual confirmation i mean look it doesn't say when i don't really care about when i was just more worried about the if yes new manga volume will yeah. release eventually and that was in that was um last month she put that up on her twitter last month so like uh, yeah that's good um oh, there will not be i completely forgot forgot what dude i mentioned star wars is slate for next year i completely forgot that andor season two is coming <gasps> out oh yes in, like towards the middle of the year that's great i love sorry to, andor. sorry to derail what no, you were talking fine. about fine. but oh my god yeah i completely forgot about that um but i'm i'm just glad that i've like hopped back on on the gangster train now that you know it's it's still chugging along. You're a real, you're a real gangster. I'm a real fan. I'm a real fan. I watched this series for the first time. Like, two are you years an OG? Ago. I'm not an OG. An original it, gangster. It uh, listen. It came out in like 2015, and last manga edition came out 2019. The anime came out, uh, I think 2015 or something like that. I watched it like two years ago, but I'm just glad that it's like coming back and if anything mm. i'm I'm not a gatekeeper but i like that it's a small fandom i like that it's just us like dedicated people um well if they make a second series then you'll get more merch yeah merch is like a really big fucking problem oh my god yeah there was there was a dvd that i was gonna buy on ebay and i got an offer but i missed the offer for like a bit cheaper and then as I go back, because I'm like, you know what? I can't find any other listing of this. Region 4, perfect condition. It's sold. Gone. Uh, Slipped to your, through your fingers literally like, 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 like sand. Literally like sand. I'm just... Uh, uh. <sighs> oh, <wow>. Anyway, yeah. <gasps> um, oh, yeah. We're also getting uh, Dungeon Meshi Season 2 next year. Okay. I think sort of in, the, in like quarter 3 or 4. Okay. Uh, yeah, they they did confirm they confirmed that pretty shortly after season one ended. Oh, right, yeah. Which I mean, that's good. It's it's a it's a fourteen it's a fourteen volume manga, and the first season adapted the first seven, so it's pretty it like fits perfect. Well, yeah, that's great. It's, yeah, fits very well into two seasons. Very happy about that. Mm -hmm. Um, season uh sorry volume twelve. Of Nichijou just came out in Japanese, 
We only need one more volume until there'll be enough material to adapt it into a second season. Oh. When when did the And we last... are also we are also getting uh, a, an anime ad- adaptation of City, which is Keiichi Arawi's other manga. So I think there's I think there's hope for a Nichi, uh, Nichijou season two. Okay, that's when did the last season uh, come out? Of Nichijou? Yeah, like when did it end? Twenty eleven. Oh. Th- thirteen years ago. It was it was one season. So it was thirteen years ago. It was in twenty eleven. So you oh. understand the problem here yeah but the thing is is that for a long time there just wasn't enough material to adapt because the manga finished we thought but then after keiji arawi finished city right he then went back and has, okay, has started doing need to do again um yeah. kind of similarly with with gangster she's dismissing the rumors that there's going to be an anime sequel there's not going to be mm. because apparently oh. people were saying that and like blah 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 but i don't know I'm happy with, honestly, yeah. I, I'm happy. It, it's a different kind of feeling when you're a fan of something as it's coming out compared to when you're a fan of something that's come out years ago. As someone who's a oh, who's yeah. a fan of, of The Walking Dead, of Supernatural, of all these like older series that have finished five to ten years ago, it's a completely different experience to be there when it comes out when you're waiting for the next episode. When you're watching the episode the night it comes out, like, you know, there's no spoilers mm. on anywhere on the internet. It's, like, fresh. It's a completely different yeah. feeling. It's it's great, but it's also, like, it's it's risky. It's a risky game because there are some situations where they just never get finished. And that's, the, like, the worst case of situation. Yeah, you get left in the dust. It's like It's like, oh, my God. It's like finding a good fan fiction and finding out the last time it got updated is, like, 2022. That's why you always have yeah. to like. I don't. I don't read the, fan fiction, but I know the feeling. Change yeah. change the filter to completed because, oh, it's a different kind of pain when you get to the end and there's nothing left. It yeah. sucks. Um. Anyway, yeah. Hmm. I I teased last week to change the topic because we have like twenty minutes left. Yeah. Which is a while. I teased last week that I I had a new toy. Oh. I got a new toy, what, and that what is did you get? an analog pocket. What? Oh, oh! I'm sure I'm showing Cloud it on the uh, on really the webcam. Cool, it's very pretty. It yeah. is. It is an FPGA console, uh, which I'm not gonna really go into what that means, I but it, it essentially just means that there's there's a chip in there that you can tell to basically be any chip from any other console oh which is pretty cool that's really cool yeah it means in this specific case that you can use it to basically play any console that is below the sort of level of of like power Mm. most notably basically every single arcade game ever yeah like I just there's just a big long list of every arcade game and I can go in and play every single one of those uh, among uh, basically every single 16 and 8 bit console wow but specifically this was primarily made for uh for Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games mm. um and I'll go and get a Game Boy cartridge so I can show you this Because it has a cartridge slot for Game Boy games. Oh, what the fuck? So you can see there on the back. Yeah, yeah. I have my Pokemon Blue cartridge here. Yeah. I can just... Boop. Slot that in. That's so cool. Paradon. Play cartridge. Play cartridge. And... There it is! That's so cool. And it just boots up. And and who who made this thing? Didn't... Like like who made it? Oh. Yeah, <laughs> the music. Um, I'll turn that off. Anyway, so this is made by a company called Analog. Mm. 
uh, hence the name the analog pocket. Um, they are essentially a like a a premium sort of gaming emulation company. Right. I'll oh, just leave that there. Um, their latest console uh, is basically the same thing, mm. but for N sixty four games. Oh. It's called the Analog three D. Um, and man, it is so cool. Uh, I'll I'll send a, a link here. Um, mm. I'll just DM it to you. Um, it they they just take these old consoles and modernize them and just wait make them way more playable. They make them sort of they increase the resolution. They increase Whoa. the like the frame rates. They increase the compatibility. They're just amazing products. I honestly love it. Like, I love it when you collect these small, like, tech companies that actually, like, make, like, really specific products, but they're really good and they're really well made. And mm. I just, I love it. It's kind of like... it's It feels so premium mm. in the hand. It's mm. like, it has a nice weight to it. The screen looks amazing. Yeah. And you can apply like all sorts of like screen filters to it um it to make it really look nice. like yeah. Um it's just so so damn nice. Mm. I love it. Oh. And it charges with USB-C. Oh, that's good. <laughs> what else was I going to say? Oh, yes, on a um on a more shocking note, something that I saw recently um is it archive.org? I hope it's Oh, Have yes, archive.org. Have you heard what happened? Yeah, they they got DDoSed. Yeah, and they haven't. They're back up online now. I think I think mm. in read only mode at the moment. They are back up online, but, but they've stopped man, like archiving I stuff can't... since last month, apparently. I can't help but feel the DDoS was not perpetrated by an independent figure. I think it was perpetrated by some company. Oh. Now that is entirely speculation. conjecture. I, I it's speculation. I have absolutely no proof to 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 uh, back that up, but I don't think an individual would try and DDoS the Internet Archive because everyone loves it. Everyone like it's it's it's, re- it's, Internet a, it's an amazing archive. resource. Yeah, um, but that's so. Just... I think I think it was a company. I think it was a corporation. Mm. That'd be. I'd, I'd like to know. It that. could have been be Google. Really it could have been. It could have been some copyright firm. Mm. It could have been something, but Cause yeah, everyone, I don't think it was an just... individual. I've seen so many things going around now of everyone being like, you know, the internet's forever. Whatever you put up there is going to be there forever. It's really not. Yeah. I mean, and in, and in a bad way too, because like six, there's so much good stuff that just yeah. doesn't stick around. In 60 years, there's going to be so much more on the internet. Like compared to now, since when it started, there's mm. in trillions of, you know, different bits of information on there. I, I don't know the terminology, you know that, but you know what I mean. Like, there's so much on there. Imagine in 60 yeah. years how much more there's going to be, how much more there's going to, you know, disappear that's lost. So if anything, I'm kind of glad I'm going crazy and, like, collecting physical media of, like, my favorite physical shows Physical media, yeah, stuff. yeah. I'm glad that I'm starting that now because this, for me, is a guarantee. And I know people are like, oh, like, disc rot and stuff. You're going to, like, you can't preserve it properly. I can make copies of my own copies. I can, like, I, I, but to have it physically in your hand compared to having to rely on, like, the cloud to access everything. Um, well, yeah, this is what I was going to say. It's, a bit, um, it's very comforting to have uh, them, like, you, you, you might, you might not like to hear it, but the cloud is not forever. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> Which, you, you are mortal. Yeah. Oh, wow. Thanks. Um, but but yeah, or like people think of the cloud as this sort of like you know this decentralized that's... decentralized yeah. sort of like just e- ether thing. All cloud content has to be stored somewhere on some physical machine. Yeah, like a physical machine in some and... backwater state. Who knows? Yeah. Oftentimes, those those machines are being controlled by a corporation that does not care for you exactly. or your. Or your media. So that's exactly. why we need archive.org. We need the Internet Archive. And again, with my now favorite piece of, of anime, you can't find it that easily. You have to go on like pirated websites to find it. 
I when yeah. I first watched it, it was on like an anime website, like a you know, like a legal one or whatever, and I watched ads to watch it. But now you can't find it, and that's why I'm also really sad that I didn't manage to get it on eBay, because I don't know if I'm gonna find a a chance like that, like that that, that was that perfect, because it was. I'm sure it was like eighty dollars, mm. but it's hard to find, and it was in Australia, yeah. which is the other thing that I was like, whoa. But yeah, that's once in a blue moon. That that doesn't come along very often. Australia region four within my budget, and I missed the first like reduced offer. I'm just so pissed off at myself. But <sighs> if I did get that, I would be so happy because I that means I have like a guaranteed way to watch it. Because mm. yeah, I just you can't fucking trust the internet these days. It's not as reliable. Well, as you can't trust. You can't trust corporations yeah. to keep to keep their to keep the internet important running. media available. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I'm I'm happy that I have my. That's another thing that I've done over this year. I've made like a really nice collection. I've got lots of good albums. I've got I've got tons of books now. I've got um, like my whole shelf is just DVDs. Like one whole shelf on mm. this in this bookshelf in my bedroom. This whole thing is just DVDs, movies, series. All I've got Supernatural. Walking Dead, um, Smallville. I've only got like two things of Smallville. I've been meaning to watch that. I haven't. Um, Being Human, which again I've mentioned before, was one of my favorite live action series. UK version. I've got all five seasons. Mm. Um, Game of Thrones. I've watched season four of Game of Thrones just by like thrifted DVDs. I'm so proud of that. Hmm. I have not paid for a streaming yeah. set. I've not touched the internet for Game of Thrones ever. I have. Dexter, and then I've got a bunch of miscellaneous movies. I'm I'm so proud of that. Yeah. Um, my my physical media collection is growing as well. I have actually, I got a CD in. Ooh. Just earlier this week. What'd you get? It is out of print. It's oh. out of print, so I had to get it from from World of Books. Um, I it was only ten bucks as well. That's which good. Is a pretty good deal. Yeah. Flood by They Might Be Giants. I am not because it's a good fucking album. I've seen that like, I've seen that album cover before, but I'm not familiar with with. Mm. Oh. Uh, it's the one with uh, Birdhouse in Your Stall, uh, Stall, Birdhouse in Your Soul, uh, Istanbul, not Constantinople, uh, oh, Particle Man. Oh, uh, right. Uh, it's got yeah. a, a hot hot char. It's got a bunch of really yeah. really popular, famous. I mean, very well known songs on it. Mm. Just a really really good album. Yeah. I think one of my it's really difficult to to choose a favorite track off this, but I really like uh Sapphire Bullets of Pure Love. Okay. It's a short one. It's short and sweet. Mm. But yeah. This um, is my this is my album album recommendation of the week. Oh, okay. I'm going to um, we should do that. We should like, by, they might be giants. That's a good. Let me get one of my um, That's what they do. CDs they do that on like. um the rest is entertainment. Oh yeah. Okay, give me a second. Sorry. Each week uh one of the hosts recommends uh or each each host. Also, yeah. That's a really great podcast as well. The rest is entertainment. Um it's hosted by Marina Hyde and um Richard Osman. I have here If you don't listen to it, um, this Go is Songs and Instrumentals it. by Adrian Lenka. I'm not sure if I'm saying her last name right, or Adrian, or Ad- I don't know. Hmm. Um, great acoustic artist. She beautiful song voice. She's also the lead singer in the band Big Thief. I'm not sure if you've heard of that. Um, I have not. Velvet Ring is one of their most popular songs, but this album, um, Songs is what the album is called, and Instrumentals it's a is a double. So Instrumentals is what the other album is called and it's two like 20 minute long tracks of just instrumentals it's all acoustic but it's gorgeous like this this album is like it'll make you cry it'll make you smile it's amazing um and i'm so happy that i got a a, a cd of physical this, copy because it's really good um yeah yeah what is a poster what is this oh and the good thing about physical copies is that when you buy albums, you get extra stuff. Yeah, like, like this you one get has, bonus material. Yes, this one has all the lyrics on the inside, so you don't have to search it up. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, I love that about... that's You get physical bonus stuff when you buy CDs and DVDs. Do people forget that? You get physical, cool... You get posters, you get 
sometimes you are signed stuff. Some of them are signed. Hmm. Oh yeah, like, I hello? I have the I got the the box set edition of Rex Orange County's latest album. Oh yeah, it came with a signed insert. Exactly, you get you get like cool stuff. And oh wait a minute, it came with a fucking t-shirt. It came no with a really way. cool t-shirt oh, that I cool. that I got an ice cream stain on. Oh wow, but <laughs> I, like, there's an ice cream stain on it by, yeah, right now, get... but it's a really cool t-shirt. Yeah, and. Another thing, I... This one is also a Rex Orange County t-shirt. <laughs> I, yeah, you've worn that one a lot. It's really nice. Um, I've gotten so many uh, CDs off of eBay for like $20 cheaper than they are new. And they're in perfect condition. People forget... Mm. I will... I've said this before. I will say it again. Buy secondhand things. Sell your own things. Buy other people's things. Trade. Trade between your friends. Like... You know, barter system is great. Like, go to thrift stores, make your own clothes. Like, it's it's so good what mm. we already have. You don't always be self sufficient. Yes, you don't always need to buy new things. I will. I love thrift stores. I love buying secondhand. I will always buy secondhand because, honestly, sometimes you find really cool things that are really old. I have like two really old editions of Moby Dick that you wouldn't really be able to find on like in like online anymore like they're, they're, they're old editions print. because because they don't get damaged because nobody reads them well haha but still like i've got lots of really old books because i found them second hand and that they're, they're in good took me a while to get though. to the punchline of that joke i won't lie wow thanks um but anyway I, good album listen to it we're almost it's at the nice. end almost at the end of our one year episode <gasps> I need to keep my promise in that I need to talk about the new Fortnite season. Quick. I won't be long. Yeah, I hope not. I won't be long. Go. So, just last night, uh, the uh, the new Fortnite season started. We went down for downtime after an event. Quite possibly the lamest event ever. Okay. <laughs> it was not very good. Uh, we essentially just, like... You you just loaded into the game and then you were just sitting at like at restored reels, which is a, a location in the game which has like a, a cinema screen, mm. and we just watched a live stream of an, an Ice Spice and Snoop Dogg concert at Times Square. Oh, it was really really boring, uh, but it was made a little bit more interesting by the fact that me and my friends, uh, or my friends and I, sorry. Oh. Uh, we figured out a way to escape from the event area because there was like this there was an invisible wall that pushed you back but we found a way to escape yeah. and get out what did you do uh, and we were just able to to explore the whole map around this area all of the buildings were invisible like you could still touch them but like all of the all of the buildings were were gone oh um it was very entertaining um yeah, if that is the only reason it was entertaining is because we managed to break it. Huh. But yeah, the um, uh, the actual season, I I talked about it a bit last week. We're going back to chapter two, but it feels uh, a bit antithetical to the whole sort of uh the the yeah the 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 concept because they have introduced it's it's like it's called Fortnite Remix. Mm. And it's just a bunch of collabs with, like, rappers. Oh. So, Ice Spice, uh, there's, a, uh, there's a new Eminem skin. Not that we had a fucking enough Eminem skins. <laughs> there's, like, three in the game already. Yeah. Snoop Dogg. To be fair, the Snoop Dogg skin looks pretty cool. He's okay. wearing an accurate outfit. His face looks accurate. It's, it's a good skin, to be fair. Um, but I feel like they should have put way more focus on the actual like celebration of the legacy of the game because right. we have five five skins that are like mashups of of skins from chapter two mm. and none of them are that interesting oh um but i mean one one interesting thing that they did introduce is they are they have introduced a new type of cosmetic not not a skin or a contrail or a glider or a pickaxe or a black bling or anything like that yeah they've introduced something called kicks what's that which is where you can unlock or buy shoes 
that you can put on basically any skin. Is oh, then they're just shoes. And in the in the battle pass this season, there are there are Nike Jordan mid dunks. In the battle pass, it's oh, okay, it's confounding, it's confusing, it's it's confuzzling. Do they do, they do anything? Like uh, they just no. Oh, nope. They're just shoes. Do you have to pay? Yeah. Uh, oh. I would. I would imagine that the the biggest use case for these cosmetics will be wearing the mid dunks on Goku. Because <laughs> what else would you do? <laughs> what else would you do with them? Oh, Make Goku wear them. <laughs> that's really. That's that's great. Um. <sighs> Fortnite. There's something, something uniquely special about Fortnite, you know. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, yeah. That's so funny. But um, yeah, the the update, I I the update actually like dropped at uh, like six forty five hmm. last night. Oh, so yeah, wow. Mine's still updating. Oh, right. It's at like seventy point six out of however many gigabytes. It was close to eighty. Right. Um, it's just a ridiculously sized update, and I really, really hope that they. I mean, they announced that they were going to be releasing some kind of like slim client, which is like a, an effort to reduce the file size of the game because it's kind mm. of got ridiculous. Right. But yeah. There. Huh. That's that's, it. that's the state of Fortnite currently. For, for... It's, it's it's such a bizarre game. Huh. I mean, the chapter two map being back is good and it's fun and the loot pool is good. Mm. So it, there's that at least. At least, yeah. Um, we are coming up to the end of our one year anniversary episode celebration. We should have, like... I mean, talk about celebrating... Talk about celebrating a legacy. <laughs> um, we should have gotten, like, a cake or something. I don't know. Something... We can do that, like... I don't know, next year. Who knows? Yeah. I mean... <laughs> well, the next one, we should... Uh, we should uh, record it together. Like, yeah, actually, in, person, in the same yeah. room. That would probably be better. Yeah. Um, what... Do you think we'll ever record video episodes or like have videos of us? Probably not because it takes ages and it's a lot of effort unless we unless we get enough audience and enough money to pay an editor to do these to do instead that. of me yeah. having to do it myself yeah. then probably not. Yeah, we might at some point, but probably not soon. That's just in the same way that we won't be doing live shows anytime soon Yeah, because we don't have the audience or money yeah um all the equipment yeah but it's been a good year it's been a great year i'm i'm so glad we actually got to do this again it started off with a high school assignment it did it did and maybe one day if we have some kind of paid tier where like people want to get exclusive content we might post it then i'll we'll 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 release the original pilot because i think i do have it it, it's somewhere. I yeah. think. Is it? It's somewhere. There were like two pilots. So the, uh, the 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 first one we posted that you can actually go listen to, um, the Dilf stats There's list. There's three pilots. There's three. There's the high school one. The actually okay no. There's only two because there's episode one, which is not technically the pilot. Right. Um, then we have the actual pilot pilot, which came out. Oh no, it didn't. We never released it. Mm, um, yeah, the one we, we recorded didn't it just. I think we recorded it in May 2023. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, May 2023. Um, and then we have the original, original pilot, which we recorded when we were in high school, and virtually we did not edit at all, yeah. basically. It's I, not very good. I just, like, mixed the audio a little bit and, then and you put censored the censored swear words. the swear words with really, really loud duck sound effects. Like, they were really loud. They weren't meant to be loud. That was just... <laughs> That was just well, Logic were... Pro being shitty, because oh, wow. like I, I, we were forced to use Logic Pro because we had to edit them on the school Max. Oh right, and yeah. And Logic Pro sucks for podcasts. Yeah, but um, um, that's where it all started as a high school assignment. 
and now we are a year later um out of high school with, yeah. with jobs and lives um doing this oh, i should yeah. have had like a drink or something we could have done a little chin chin to another Cheers. year here's my empty can of monster that i have on my desk i'll get my little water bottle hold on where's my water bottle i'll, I'll just take a drink of that give me two seconds <laughs> okay cheers cheers <laughs> that was me <laughs> tapping my empty monster can on to my the, webcam um i don't think we should do an am i the asshole i think we can just no am i the asshole really I don't know. why not we can just leave it like that say have a have a well this feels like it's the last episode ever they'll we'll be back next week Mm. Don't sulk at me. Mm. Don't pout your lips at me. Mm. No, hang on. I'm just looking through the list. See if oh, there's okay. a good one. Oh. Because it's <sighs> it's funny if you just read the title of the post. Are we just going to read the title? Quite possibly. Okay. There oh, are this no one's, funny this one's... ones. There are no funny ones. Oh. Give me a funny one, please. Am I the asshole? Please. If I write an anonymous Google review on my boss for parking illegally in the candy handicap spot. No. 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 That's it. One, one, of one, course not. One <laughs> answer. No. Um, let's yeah. see. What else? No. <laughs> Would I be the asshole if I bring my own toilet paper to a sleepover? No. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's a really weird one. Uh... I don't know. Yeah. We'll do one more. We'll do one more. Um, a- am I the asshole for asking a girl if the seat at her table was taken? Oh. Huh. I don't know. I, you need more context. What the... Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Am I the asshole for telling my brother he's using weaponized incompetence against me over Hot Pockets? <laughs> no. No? It's tagged as as not. There you go. It has the flair. There you go. So I guess not. Damn. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think wow. that, that'll that we, we can leave it at that for for, for this week then. All right. Oh my god, we did yeah. it! One year. Good job, Finley. Woo! We did it. Thank you and for listening. Thank you for listening for and a year. I want to say thank you for editing all the episodes, Finley. I really appreciate the effort that's, you put in for both of us. It's quite all right. Um, I will, I I will I, I will learn to to properly edit things one day. So maybe one day I'll be editing something. I'd like to. Um, you'll have to show yeah. me, I guess. But I really appreciate all the effort you put into this. It's been a great year. Here's to many more in the future. Um, mm-hmm. Thank you to everyone that's listened. Thank you to all our friends that have supported us. Um, thank you to my parents for being patient and leaving an hour or whatever for me to, to be quiet for, you know, every week so that we can record. Um, thank you yeah. to my dad for actually listening to the podcast. Yeah, thank you to Finley's dad for actually listening. It, it is nice to know that there is someone that's like listening every week and stuff. It is nice. Out of the the hundreds of podcasts that he he tries to cram into his days, <laughs> he he always makes time for Has us. Has time to listen to our yapping and stupidity. It's yeah. great. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you, everyone. Dad. Thank you. Um, and thank you to for actually no, I I said I, that was weird inflection. I meant to say thank you to Two K Doppler for the use of our theme song Breeze off the album Brooks Brain Dump. It's a good track, and my brother's whistling, even though I told him to be quiet. <laughs> it's a great track. Because that's what he does. It's a great track, and you should go and listen to it. And, yeah. I mean, like, they have a ton of music. They have all of their animations on Instagram. I was in a couple of them. Mm. Go and check that They're out. really cool, yeah. And that's it. That's it for this week. That's, that's it for the year. year. Not for not for the calendar year, for our, for our, our podcast year. year. We'll see everyone again. It's like... It's Next it's like week. it's like the like the the Chinese like Chinese calendar where yeah. it like ends like a month after the regular that like the Gregorian calendar year. Yeah. Our podcast year is it ends two it means it ends like two months before the, the end Gregorian of the Gregorian calendar. calendar. Oh well, well, there we go. That's it. Thanks. Bye. See ya. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>
incidents in real life, then we never have to do anything ever again. How does that work in the real world? <laughs>